hello everyone welcome back to the channel uh, today we are doing a quick unboxing and a quick review of this crown stapler from Milwaukee tools this is the m12 version and it is item number 2447-20 it says here tool only at the time when I purchased it from the Home Depot they had a deal going on so this was hundred and thirty dollars which included this set also so this was included in there um, this is the 4 X uh, XC 4 uh, amp hour and uh, CP 2 amp hour starter kit within it which includes the charger all right so this was included with the tool for free so tool was one hundred and thirty dollars um, purchased uh, several of these that were 130 that included the batteries so they were a good deal at the time I think this was uh, late 2022 if I'm not mistaken anyhow um, so this is the tool only box and it tells you here in the back that it can use the 3 8 flat crown staples and they are the t50 so there is 9 16 inch which is 14 millimeter half inch 12 millimeter 3 8 10 millimeter 5 16 8 millimeter and one quarter inch 6 millimeter um, this is just some information here says here dry fire lockout prevents blank stapling and striker wear and there it's a staple locating arrow so it tells you the staple will be pushed in there slotted magazine design this one here adjustable belt clip sequential and contact actuation trigger power adjustment dial okay and there is not much more information on here let's uh, remove the thing the tape I mean cut the tape I'm gonna have to use this uh, hopefully tomorrow when I'm installing the roofing felt on my shed the, um, in the last few stages of finishing my shed so I need this to attach the felt to the roof So it comes with the operator's manual. It is a stapler, so I don't know if you need to read, read this. If it was a more complicated tool, I would read it, but a stapler I may not, most likely will not. Uh, this is a brochure they include. This is for the M18 side. And on this side is the M12. Um, so I'm sticking with the M12 for now until there is really a big need to go with the M18 tools. But uh, that's what's included in the box. And we have the stapler itself. Right there. And it's nice of them, they attach the belt clip already. Okay, let me move the camera down here. Okay. So I went ahead and ordered the 5 16th 8 millimeter. This is the T50. That's what this one takes. This is from Aero. So this is a box of 5,000. And there is another box of 5,000 I purchased. That is the 10 millimeter ones and 3 8th. So most likely I'll be using this one for the felt. This one will work too, I guess, either or. All right, so the item number for this is 51505IP. And this one is 506IP. Uh, I think one of them was like six bucks and the other one was eight or something from Amazon with free same day delivery. So I got those, which is awesome. And I also 
have a couple pieces of wood here that we can test with so this is just a piece I'm um, a uh, leftover piece from uh, my shed the siding and uh, trimming so we'll use these as a testing uh, pieces um, and I have the 1.5 amp battery okay so there is the tool itself and this is the magazine and it has these rubbery cushions here when you put it down it sits down nicely okay let's see how this comes out oh I just load them in here let's see let's try the eight millimeter ones Let's put the battery in. Okay. That's a and there is the battery level, and it wouldn't fire because it's this needs to be pressed first. Of course, you need to. Where is the actuation? It's this one here. Did it uh, really easily. Okay, so this is if you want to hold the trigger button and you just do this quickly. So, like this. Do that. And it's uh, driving them very nicely. Okay. So if you take your time, just do it slower, they will all sit fine. Um, this is the depth adjustment. So if we go up, that's one up. It's driving them easily. So let's try this other piece now this is harder than this wood this is kind of soft just uh what is this a uh, fur pine or something um this is the lp panels the smart panels and they are harder because they are sort of synthetic so they have um metal stuff inside and stuff like that so they are very strong let's try with that yeah still went in goes in like this on the back should be better or easier it should have no problem doing this into the half inch uh, plywood that I got for the roof of my shed so and that's the 8 millimeter let's remove this and use the 10 millimeter to release it you just press on this and it comes out Okay, here's that. Let's get the 10 millimeter ones. The 10 millimeter uh, have the the chisel end on them. See, they're like a chisel. Oh, well, that is why there is some left in there. Hold on, let me clear it. <laughs> there were some of the uh, eight millimeter ones stuck in there still. That's why this didn't fit. All right, so that should be good. All right, 
So this is the chisel one, 10 millimeter. Goes in fine too, no problem. Let's try here. So because it's a bit long, it didn't go deep. But if you adjust the power, it should do it. I'm not going to do that just because I'm not going to be using these. Um, so I'll just leave it as is for the 8mm ones. That's the ones that I'm going to use. Alright, that is it guys. I just wanted to do a quick uh, unboxing and overview of this tool. Pretty nice tool. If I use it and it, it does its job, then everything will be smooth and good. That is all you know, fine and dandy. So, yeah. Um, that is it. I think there is nothing else to review on this tool. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video with me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like it, please subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.